Welcome to Bernie Sanders Dank Meme Stash. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. Like, comment on, and share our videos. So much that unites us. We all want clean air, healthy water. We all want jobs that pay us enough so that we can hold our heads up with dignity. We all want to provide a future, a better future for our children. We all want to be cared for when we are ill and to not worry that this illness will lead to our bankruptcy or possibly homelessness. Most of us want that for our neighbor too. Do you? Yet despite all this rancor and divisiveness being thrown around these days, I still believe that there is goodness in the hearts of all of us. And I still believe that perspectives can shift, eyes can be opened, hearts too. I'm endorsing Bernie Sanders today because I believe that when he is elected, he will lead this country with a spirit of inclusiveness and in the service of the people he represents, not the money that got him there. In service to the people, a basic concept of democracy, but a forgotten one. The president is not a king. He works for us. Bernie has always governed that way. He's been a faithful representative of his constituents in Vermont for years. He has never abused his position for personal gain. He's been standing up for the poor, the disenfranchised, the shunned, the oppressed for years. As a college student, he was arrested for protesting against racist housing discrimination. For his entire life, he has marched on picket lines with striking workers and stood up for immigrant rights and marched in opposition to war. He's what my grandfather used to call the genuine article. I support Bernie Sanders because I believe he will lead from a moral center, born of a lifelong commitment to serving the needs of the poor, the American worker, the single mother, the family farmer, the student in debt, the couple struggling to keep their home, the beautiful souls that constitute the core, the majority of this country. I support Bernie because I believe him when he says that he will declare a state of emergency on his first day in office to address the climate crisis that threatens this planet. I support Bernie because he is the candidate that has the broadest base of support, a volunteer base of a million strong, ready to knock on doors. The kind of support that can motivate and sustain the changes that will be necessary to bring bold transformation to this country. It's not going to be easy. There are many obstacles in the way. But yesterday, I witnessed the impossible come true at Avenal State Prison. After the play, the men were talking with each other, their guests visiting with their family. And a friend of mine pointed to two men who were talking to each other, laughing, hugging. It was one of our formerly incarcerated teachers, Jason, and one of the writers of the play, still incarcerated, Pedro. 
You see that scar on Jason's head? It's from a knife fight with Pedro from 10 years ago. They used to be enemies looking for blood. And now, in this room, they were collaborators, partners, friends. There in that moment, I saw the future manifested in the purest form of forgiveness and the overwhelming power of love. The way forward for all of us must be through unity, not division. We can be passionate and certain about our candidate and do so with open ears, with a respect for differences and a love for even those that do not want to listen. We need to find new alliances, unexpected friends. We need to sow the seeds of unity with our actions and our deeds, practice tolerance, and wield the overwhelming power of love when we are advocating for Bernie Sanders. When Bernie Sanders says, not me, us, he is reminding us that it is a movement, not an individual, that will transform this country. It is all of us as a collective, not the cult of one, that will bring change. And it is exactly because of that perspective, that humility, that understanding of how democracy works, that I wholeheartedly endorse Bernie Sanders as the next president of the United States.